What's happening, people? You now tuned into another installment of Four Quarters with the Fly Supply compadres right here. Yo, Today yo. on this episode, we're talking about red flags, <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> gentlemen. Gentlemen. What are some red flags, man? What are some red <sighs> flags, brother? I, I, I'll start with one. <laughs> All right, our red flag for me dealing with like a chick. You know uh, what I'm saying? <laughs> if we out and she put a phone face down. Mm. I don't know. That's a red flag, man. It's something she don't want me to see. Yeah, but I do that too. So I ain't gonna lie. You know, I be doing that too. It's even yeah. worse when you put the you put the phone face down, and then she invited you out to eat. Facts. But then you gonna pay? Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> That's kind of like one of those red flags for me. Hey, what you call them? Dinner what? Dinner scammers? Oh yeah, dinner scammers. Yeah, oh, boy. yeah. Dinner scammers. <laughs> red flag, huh? Yeah, that's a red flag. A red flag for me. I ain't gonna lie. This like. This is a this some off the wall, but a red flag to me is filters, bro. Like, if you gotta use a filter in all your pictures, it's just screaming something. You're hiding something. Like you're hiding from something. You you don't like something. So like, man, I, I ain't gonna lie. I hate filters, bro. Like, not the fact that you know what I'm saying. I just you just be like, well, it, I hate them. But I don't care either, you feel me? Like, I don't really give. But, you know what I'm saying? I just hate the fact that it's like you be thinking one thing. You just like, man, anything with filters, you don't need, you can't even yeah. think no more. Especially, like, when we book models and shit like that. Like, if if we see a model that got nothing but filters off rip, I'm knowing, like, they not that for <laughs> real. Because, you know what I'm saying? Of, of, of all their filters and stuff. That's a red flag for me. False like, advertising. Yeah. What? I, know, I know for me, I mean, when it comes to a relationship or just dealing with a chick, man, a red flag for me would probably be um, always having your phone on silent. You know what <laughs> I'm saying? Course. Like, it's just me and you yeah. in the house. So <laughs> what, about a lock on the, what about a lock on the phone? It's privacy issues, you know? Yeah, probably because you can leave your yeah. phone, somebody steal your phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a lock on my then phone. Then they could probably, yeah. like, you know, it's but probably... I'm saying something. that because I was guilty of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Like, put my phone on silent for, like, you know, back then or whatever. Just, yeah. uh, you never know. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah, right, you know, right, right. They, they, they might break the rules, but that, that was back then. But, um, yeah, that's a red flag for me for sure. And that's yeah. if you're taking, like... A chick serious, you mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. If I'm if I if I'm taking a girl serious, man, right now I'm at point in my life, man. I I've been told y'all boys, man, I feel great just leaving my phone on the counter yeah, and going upstairs yeah, and yeah. vibing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But back then I ain't gonna lie, like I had the phone on <laughs> on, on on silent and um vibrate <laughs> and just me and you. So you know, just in case. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, so I know you guys are tuning in right now, but we got so many free games to um, give you guys, man. A lot of free game. Um, tune in, finna get to the end of this podcast, and then just make sure y'all check us out. Would a red flag be like if you can't use your girl phone? Like, say if like, <laughs> yeah, you want to know what's funny, man? I got proposed this. On some funny shit though. Yeah. I think this is we was on edibles one time. She was like, <laughs> uh, she said? She, nah, <laughs> she, nah, yeah. with a, um, Hey, I bet I bet um what she say though? She say something about um I bet you won't let me check your DMs. I was like, nah, you can check my DMs. <laughs> Cause my DMs are dry. And if they choosing, i am I'ma tell you that they choosing, but yeah, you yeah. don't see me going back and forth. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So to me, that's like I'm like, damn. Like, I, I know I'm all in. You get what I'm saying? But yeah. I, sometimes you can't stop other situations from violating. Yes. And vice versa on her end, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. I'm, like, I'm not going to hold you accountable for somebody else who going out of their way to do something that they know they shouldn't be doing. But it ain't your fault. I feel you. You can't you control know? other people's actions for real. So Fact, I feel yeah. that. It's crazy because, like, because it might be a little bit off topic. But like you said, you all in. Yeah. It seems like more, more people want you. Even more. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Knowing I, that you all in. I heard that before, That's man. And, and, and now that I'm in it, yeah, I, I believe it. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Because it's like, damn. It be like know, that, though, for real, though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was like, I'm happy geez. for you. And, or, they, or they hit you with the heart eye emojis. The other day, I um, damn, what I did? I, I posted my um, we you know, renovating the crib, right? Yeah. Oh. And I posted the new um, the renovations that we did with the theater room or whatever, the movie room or whatever we call it, the family room. And she was like, um, some some girl randomly on Facebook hit me with a movie movie night, me and you, hard eyes. I'm like, yo, 
<laughs> before all this, you see nothing but family, my my wife, and this and that, and then you just follow up with this. I'm just like, yo, Sheesh. boy, yeah. they, be, they be throwing up the bait, man. I can't bite it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't bite it. I'm not even into that, man. I'm just Sheesh. vibing. It's crazy. That's a red flag for them. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? This is where the commercial comes. Yeah, in. Like, <laughs> 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 I, I was trying to come I was trying to second you Cause I had a, I, I was gonna come And talk about something Like that yeah. But yeah man Hey listen Right now Drop Whatever you doing We need you to go to www.flysupplyclothing.com Drop your email In there And Sign up to our newsletter Get some coupons Get some Coupon codes Whatever man We finna Send y'all the latest And the greatest Thank you Sir. Yeah. All right, so let's bring it back, fellas, man. Red flag. Yeah, right? it just got weird. I'm going to insert these. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to insert these, guys. <laughs> you know, I ain't going to lie, but whenever, oh, whenever hey, you know what I'm saying, that could be. Having shades on this side. Having shades on inside. I don't know. It's I ain't going to lie. Tips. Flag, people but... think I, like, I wear shades so much, people think I'm cock cock out it, dog. Like, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> like, when they see me, what I say, like, yo, I thought you was, something was wrong with your eyes or something like that. I'm like, yo, kid, I just, like, I wear, you feel me? Like, <laughs> now, like I like, I like shades because it make me, like, it make me feel invincible, like, sometimes. Mm. It, like, you know, people would, like, drink. Yeah. Or they drink or smoke sometimes to hide themselves. Yeah. Like shade sometimes for me is like when I'm in a room and I don't want to be around anybody or really like. Come out, my face tells it all. Like mm -hmm. and my eyes always <laughs> tells it all. Nice. So I like to wear shades. The windows of the soul. Yeah, the windows of the soul. And if you see and, me, and, and it's easy to alert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you be in the gym and you you see something walking by, but you already you looking this way. <laughs> you get the right I, I, that's a red flag. Uh, shades <laughs> on in the gym. Shades, shades on in the gym is kind of weird, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't trust a guy with shades on or with <laughs> shades on in the gym is <laughs> weird as hell. But um, if what about you see, shades in church? Oh, no. Yeah, that's that's, that's cool. I don't know. Well, I, church, I never had. I never. It depends though. What if you in the front? I'm saying like. I'm talking about like you going like to church Sunday just to vibe. I don't know. What if you know. smoke before church? Hallelujah. Is that a sin? You just getting lifted. Nah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. So what if you smoke before church and you trying to hide? You know what I'm saying? The fact. I hear you. I mean, yeah, you got people yeah. that do smoke. First. Some people do that. If I'm wearing shades on inside in the club. Is a high chance I'm probably sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but can you see though? It's sometimes you wear shades you can't see. I, I don't know. I think that's part of it too. Like yeah. I don't want to see everything. Clothes don't really be looking good, but I, I mean, like, it's a give and take. Cause then you go. You know, I don't know. I I ain't gonna lie. I like shades in the club. It depends on what club I'm in. So like, let's say if you go to like Eleven or something like that, a place that got like laser tight lighting and stuff like that. It be good when you got all them uh, when you got shades on and the, all them lights going because like with the music plus the lighting effects mm -hmm. it kind of like helped me out while I'm, especially if I'm drinking drinking it, it helped me out while I don't tip all the way over you feel me like gotcha. those lights be giving you motion like I don't know how to explain it but like when they be flickering and stuff like that like flashing heavy and stuff like that so the shades be helping me out when I when I'm in the club I'm gonna keep it super G like if I'm wearing shades in the club. It's probably just a cool factor. Mm. Like after two or three songs, I can't. I can't see shit. It's already dark. I don't got time for this, man. I want to vibe, and I'm not trying to do this all night. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. I just want to vibe, man. That's just me, though. You know okay, what I'm okay. saying? Yeah. But yeah. So so let me ask y'all this though: with all these red flags, right? So say you you discover a lot of red flags, right? Mm -hmm. So after you discover them, whether it's in a relationship, business partners, or uh, business, professional, whatever, exes, whatever. So you discovered all these red flags. Yeah. When do you know it's time to pivot? I don't know. That's that's a good question because to, to be honest with you, sometimes I'm starting to realize this, and I'll be having a conversation with myself. Sometimes uh, people love red flags. Yeah. We love excitement. Mm, we love journeys. Yeah, we love He's we love the bang our head against the wall. Yeah. We love it. Cause yeah. we, cause just say for in, in a relationship, uh, sometimes you know you may talk about the type of woman that you may want, um, or a female may talk about a certain type of male that they may want. But then when you actually get that guy, that's not what you really want. Mm. So you love the red flags. Mm. You don't even want a green flag like that. It's just because some people are just addicted to tough. 
got you. They don't like stuff to be smooth. It just don't feel natural. It feels right. like it's too good to be true. Kind it's of too good to be true. Like, some people self sabotage too. Yeah, yeah self sabotage. You might have a good dude. You might have a good woman, but it's like damn. Nah, something can't be right. Well, you yeah, just used to live in the chaos. So yeah. anything outside of norm is like, yo, it's like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, dog. I remember one time <laughs> I got a crazy red flag from this chick, dog, when I was a chick, dog. Like, when we was, we was, like, out of high school and college or whatever, and this girl told me she she was like, yeah, I just graduated being a nurse. I'm a nurse. And I just ain't working right now. So I'm like thinking this chick a nurse, dog. It, the whole time she ain't even had no degree, kid. <laughs> yeah, dog. But major red flag. It was a major red flag. She's a liar. <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie, I still. I let her vibe though, cause I was like, man. <laughs> nice, huh? yeah. yeah, she was nice. And then on top of that, it's like, man. Dang, dog, you like me that much to lie to me about a whole career? You look dumb right now. <laughs> <laughs> How you find out, though? How you find out it was a lie? Because, kid, you, you got to keep up with that shit. Yeah. You oh. know what I'm saying? You got to build a whole, like, you you talking about a whole, like, you know, steps. You're like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, you going from talking about school. Oh, yeah, when I was up at school, when I, da, da, da. Damn, so now, like, you, yeah, you gotta keep oh, building. Yeah, how long was it? You gotta. How long was it I ain't gonna lie, that shit was like for a few months. Damn, Damn. That's crazy. It was bro, for a few months. At first, I was like, "Dang, dog!" Like, I thought I had a smart one, bro. Like, was she smart though? Yeah, like when she was, y'all had a conversation. Did she sound like they had <laughs> bread, <laughs> dog? Or it just painted a picture <laughs> like they had bread. So I'm thinking like, this well, shit. Like, y'all both the, had red flags. Nah, <laughs> it wasn't even there. Just shit. I was. You know, just it's meeting just somebody new. Yeah, you yeah. know how, like, man, a lot of people. You know, a lot of people when you know people from like your childhood and stuff like that, like you know their history. Mm. But as you get older, you just come across new people from new surroundings or new yeah, areas. Yeah, yeah. They ain't even know nobody. You know, know them. You know what I'm saying? So you can't even do no background check on Not people you. and shit like that. And so you just gotta get. Receive what you get until you really see what's going on. So you said the dead giveaway was just it wasn't adding up. It just wasn't adding up. Dog. You confronted her about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, and she just admitted it. Yeah, <laughs> like eventually, like yeah, she did. Yeah, eventually, so she tried to lie again. <laughs> yeah, eventually, it's like I just ain't I ain't passed the test. I gotta take take the state that's board. Crazy. Like oh, what, kid? That's that's boring. Then crazy, like yo, man. man. Like eventually, it's like yo, you doing such and such. And I just thought, like, what, kid? Yeah. You hit? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you at least hit. Yeah, of course. Nah, I, yeah. But that was that was before I found out about the lie, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. yeah, Sheesh. but it was just funny, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? That, like, yeah. thinking back, I'm like, dog, that was a crazy-ass red flag. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie, that's boy. That's a problem. Yeah. Any, those red flags be serious. Anybody who go to college... And then and be go. in college for like eight years yeah. for a four year degree, but then they're not really in school. You know, like a lot of people that go to like and like people Florida will do State. that for a two year degree, but it depends on what they doing, dog. Like you know, everybody. Well, it took me it took me a while to do a four year degree, but I was mm -hmm. doing stuff in between. Mm -hmm. But it's just like people that's like, man, just in school or they come out of school, then they keep trying to get these degrees, these degree, 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 degree. Because they try to run away from real life. Uh, so, like, you always trying to oh, be in school, but you don't really want to even attack anything in the real world. So, you mm -hmm. feel like you got to always go to school mm -hmm. just so you can kind of be like, it's kind of like a holding place yeah. for you to not have to really face the real world. I but eventually, you. you're going to have to face it because you're going to have to use the knowledge. Applied knowledge is the facts, best knowledge. Facts, facts, but they be just being in school and school eight, ten years for the four year degree or facts. however they do it. You know what I'm saying? So, that'd be a red flag for me. But, yeah. You know, those, those, those red flags be serious, boy. Like, hmm. boy, it be a lot of red flags for me. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. If, boy, <laughs> I, boy, I be throwing, hey, there's a lot of red flags. Like, I be seeing stuff. When I see or hear, rather, a female telling me about all the stuff that they want from a dude, mm. Uh, financially or just expectations and I'm not saying you shouldn't have high expectations because you just created from a higher power yeah. I get it but if I ask you a question 
the same things that you're requiring from this gentleman or from this woman, can you provide that yourself? And then you say no. Because a lot of times people be thinking they're the prize lady. Yeah, yeah, These yeah. both male and female. Yeah, yeah. They be thinking they're the prize. Um, <laughs> and sometimes you're not really the prize. Yeah. For real, for real. You know what I'm saying? So like sometimes when I be hearing stuff like that, I be like, man, that's a, that's a red flag, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, even if they want to come off like they're not that, but you know at the end of the day, the end goal is just to yeah. milk the situation. Just milk it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a red flag, man. Because um, you're supposed to feel like you're the prize. Even if you ain't, kid, you're supposed to feel like that. You got to bring the table. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying, if but... If I'm bringing the table, at least bring the goddamn yeah. silverware. Yeah, some, some napkins or something. Else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Red card. Because I'm big on partnership. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like in this, in this chapter in my life, partnership mm-hmm. is key. Because there's some things that your partner might not see that you that they'll see yeah. that bring the best out of you. You know what I'm saying? And vice versa. Right. Mm-hmm. But if one person is just... If you just point it to somebody else's cup, then your cup, your cup is there, at that point is just basically empty. And now you're just moving with a whole bunch of resentment. Mm-hmm. And but at the end of the day, who you gonna be mad at? You gotta be mad at yourself. Yeah, you know they yeah. played the game better than you did. So <laughs> it is what it is. So I think it's best to really spot them red flags. And if somebody presents themselves for who they are, you gotta take it out, out the gate. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Hey guys, welcome back. No, I'm just playing. Hey, listen, go over to FlySupplyClothing.com. Go get you some of this gear that you see us wearing on the show. Thank you for watching the Four Quarters Podcast. We love y'all, man. Peace. Fact. The only people that I feel like should probably get a pass is our kids. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like my little man to get a pass because he ain't been here this long. Experience mm-hmm. is the best teacher, so you got to like keep training them up. But if you're an adult, man, you still violating? Nah, I'm good off you. Hey, you know what would be a red flag to me? I might not be a good parent because of this, because I'm going to say this <laughs> you know, to the world, right? You're an amazing parent. You're an yeah, amazing dad. Dude. I would like to think so. My only time would tell, right? Uh. But um, when you come, like I, I experienced this yesterday. I came into the crib, hmm. and like my son never runs to me. At all, like I come in the crib, you'll yeah. never come. Hey, daddy, I'm, you're home. Like, so yeah. I mean, like, low key yesterday, I was thinking to myself, like, man, bro, you the person I'm leaving this stuff behind. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if that's not a, that's not a thing that that, that boys yeah. do really. But I was like, man, you know, I'm, boys for their moms, man. Yeah, boys yeah, be same, always same for their mom. Son, yo, I, I, can't, like, I can't even get a text back, but he always FaceTiming his mom. But at the end of the day, I'm like, yo, all this for you, man. <laughs> like, yo, I think bro. it's I think I it's the age back? they are, dog, because yeah. Um, my lad the same age as King and you know what I'm saying Damn, I don't know I had a brain fart but Lil Nate yeah. but like um, uh, like they at that age where they want to create their own space yeah. Like, like Mala could be in her room <laughs> on her iPad or her like whatever in her little own world forever I'm pretty sure Nate the same thing like he yeah, come yeah. out creating his stuff mm-hmm. Lil G be on the um on the games and stuff like that. So I think think they in they they get into that Lord. space where they moving towards teenager vibes. You feel me? What? Yeah. I feel, but it, it ain't nothing yeah. like man when I'm punching in that that code on my door and my yeah. little daughter come around that corner. Oh. Yeah. That's the best part of my day. Yeah, man. see, that's what it is. and that's that the age. Yeah, the daughter, yeah. You know what I'm saying she only two, yes. so I love that. That's that's the yeah. best part of my day. Cause that my life, my daughter so. do the same thing, but yeah. huh, so little boys are red flags. Yeah, <laughs> that's some green flags though. Yeah, pause, huh? yeah, 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 pause. Like, yeah, 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 pause. <laughs> so so just so we ain't focusing on like just the negatives and the red. Like yeah. you go, what's some green flags? Like when you Ooh. see something, you be like, okay. Huh. Well, if, if I'm in the gym and I see a woman that like wipe the machine down prior and after, that means that she cares about herself. Because sometimes <laughs> I, I don't wipe. I said this last time. Um, I don't be wiping down the. I, I'm not always consistent with wiping down the machine prior to me using it in the in the gym, but I always wipe it down afterwards. <laughs> so if I see a woman that's like she cleans it prior to, mm. that tells me that she's clean, and then she cleans it afterwards, <laughs> that tells me that she's thoughtful. Mm. Yeah, It'd be so a. It, you, think that. huh? you think that's a, a race thing? You think that's a race thing? No, I don't think so, man. Yeah, yeah, people be dirty in all races. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Black, white, Spanish. I don't really be seeing a lot of black people in that gym, so that's why I was like, <laughs> nah, <laughs> Rush, I like if like I I ain't gonna lie, I don't see a lot of black people work out like that. Like if mm-hmm. well, in my area, I stay in a more um a suburbial area, but it's still a lot of like 
I think on the culture end, I, I believe it's a lot of like people from the islands and stuff like that who stay that way. Mm-hmm. It's, it's mixed culture. Yeah. But when I walk in the gym, <clears throat> I see a lot of lighter skinned people, whether it may be Hispanic or white. I don't really see a lot of black people like that that be in the it gym. It just might be that demographic yeah. over where you yeah. at. The area yeah. Of when we used to get it in that LA Fitness, it's, yeah, it's yeah. everybody Zoles, over there. Zoles. Zoles is, it's everybody in there. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it yeah, might yeah. just be a demographic yeah, situation. That's what it sound like, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I feel you on that, G. That yeah. word thoughtfulness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a super green, uh, green flag for, for me, man. Yeah, 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 nothing yeah. like somebody thinking about you and you not even thinking about yourself you Facts. know what i'm saying and, and paying attention to details and uh-huh. just doing little things that that'll just help you yeah. get to another level yeah so a green you know flag for me is it, i think it falls back on thoughtfulness mm-hmm. but if a chick like offers to pay for real <laughs> but I ain't talking about fake offers. Like, like, <laughs> like pour your wallet out, but don't really like want to pay for it. Just to act like she thought, but who really insists on like you know handling whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. And she know I'm gonna get it, but yeah. she gonna handle it. That's a green flag. Super green That's flag. a green. Flag. Especially, especially if it's like genuine, genuine. for real. And it's like she's really she's genuine. with the vibes for real. That's a green flag. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not the scorpion. <laughs> and put it over there. Get over here. <laughs> <laughs> We put it on. You want me to pay? Be like, kind of holding on to the car. Yeah, take All a quick right. bathroom break at the at the checkout, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go again. Huh? The green flag for me is um, shit, somebody who got faith in you, like mm. really believe in you for. Uh, That's real. You feel me? Like, like, you know, you be saying, "Reds, put that battery in your back." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a super green flag. Like, yo, like, and you be feeling down there. Tell you like make you key the pep talk of the year type yeah. shit. You feel me? Like I feel like that's that's the that's the biggest flag. That shit big. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like yeah. somebody major, believe major in you. Yeah. Bonus points yeah, with that. Big for yeah. Real. yeah. Somebody who got faith. Somebody who believe in you, dog. <clears throat> yeah, somebody big. who be optimistic on the same level as you, dog. Like mm-hmm. could dream just as big or could see your dream. You know what I'm saying? Were you just telling them words and stuff like that? I think that's key. Like, it'd be hard to find people who, like, really, really believe. You know what I'm saying? Especially, like, when you're creative. You know what I'm saying? You get these ideas that shoot through your head all the time fast. Mm. And, you know what I'm saying? You being, like, you may be being, you know what I'm saying, like a, a creative man or a creative woman. You know what I'm saying? You want somebody who... Like, could want believe in you and push you. Like, yeah, go ahead and do it. I don't know why, dog. People who have ideas, dog. Like, it's always some type of like, not even always, but at some point in time, it's always like this unsurety mm-hmm. with your ideas and stuff <laughs> like that. So, like, if you got somebody on your team who believe in you, got faith in you. Yeah. I feel like that's a green flag you should, you know what I'm saying? Keep that tucked away, you feel me? Like, Yo, what's going on, man? Sorry to interrupt. I won't be long, I promise. Look, head on over to fsc.academy and check out our courses. And check out our goods. We dropping a lot of gems. So go check us out, man. fsc.academy. All right, I'll go back to the show. No, I agree with you 100% on that, man. Because, like, you know, we all entrepreneurs, right? Like we all like did our own little thing prior yeah. to getting together and um mm-hmm. and, and and creating fly supply and everything else that we've done together but like sometimes as an entrepreneur man you really feel like it's just you against the world and sometimes mm-hmm. we might even talk ourselves out of our own ideas mm-hmm. but going back back to that major green flag if you got that one person that's gonna really put that battery in in your back and then on those days like man you know what i'm gonna fall back off this mm-hmm. it ain't really going nowhere but mm-hmm. then you're like nah it's, trust me you're right there yeah. Yeah. Just keep going. I mean, you 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 did the hardest job. You started. Yeah. Some people terrified to start. Right. So it ain't nothing like having that person in your corner and your back who genuinely mean that. Not not mm-hmm. here for the ride. Not here for the what if or maybe. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna ride this out until you get to where you get to. Now I'm right. here with you, but like really built it with you or really mm-hmm. encouraged you. Yeah. Ain't nothing like that feeling, man. Ain't nothing, especially when you're on a roller coasters, boy, and that yeah. thing gets scary. You feel me? Keep like, it super G with y'all too, man. Like this wasn't even supposed to happen. If I listen to that negative red flag, mm-hmm. for real, for real, I almost got talked out of like doing business with my boys oh, wow. in my last situation. Yeah. It's like you sure you want to do that? You already got something going. 
It's like, nah, man. Like, you don't see yeah. what I see. I see the yeah. vision. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm with that. And I was, al- I was already all right. Yeah. yeah. Like, nah, I'm, nah I'm, for I'm, I'm sure, for sure. And I'm a really... Yeah. And that's like, crazy, like, dog. My boys. And now, yeah. the situation that I'm in now is like, you better not even think about doing no dumb shit with, yeah. your, with your partners. Like, yo, this yeah. is where it's at. Yeah. Like, I, y'all don't even know what y'all have. That's 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 flag. somebody who yeah. got faith you know in you and believe in your vision yeah. and they could, they got a whole nother vision for you on top yeah. of what you see like for us yeah you know. you know what I'm saying like, like for us all win individually mm. together the whole nine like we doing yeah. something crazy mm. and just to have that constant reminder is dope is a, is a hell of a feeling yeah for real that's facts yeah that's a super big green flag mm. man like man. It ain't all about the reds, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, don't be prejudiced. We like green too, you feel me? But red's a, red is high alert. Shit, green is high alert too. And it's crazy because, like, when you on F, you, like, you on, you in the green, you know what I'm saying? When you on E, you in the red for real. So sure. both like key. But me, I like to focus on, I like to focus on the positive for the most part. Gotcha. Everybody got their reds. But you focus on a you focus on a grain, the grain flat, man. Mm. It hopefully the the <clears throat> the positive outweigh the negative, you feel me? Sure. I think the key in all that is um discernment, like Yeah. Mm. And knowing when to when you spot those red flags and those green flags, knowing when to move appropriately and knowing when to like keep that around you or take that about your presence, you feel me? So I think you just gotta be aware for real. And mm. like and then be willing to kind of like act on it and be willing to make that move. Because we all peep red flags and we all ignore them. We, mm-hmm. we ignore them in the past. We've yeah. had red flags and said, you know what, this happened this time. I'm going to just give it another chance or whatever. Yeah. So I think that discernment and then acting on that discernment, I think that's just a big key factor. Fact. Yeah, I, I think um, just to even add on to what you said, uh, acting on it, you know, because acting on it could be, you know, uh, a trying thing to do. Oh, yeah. Because, hmm. you know, when, with, when you see a red flag, um, if you act on it, then that means at that time, at that moment, it's going to cause you uh, immediate pain. Mm-hmm. And uh, most people, myself included, don't want to face the immediate pain right away. Mm-hmm. But I, I once, I heard this somewhere, I don't know what I was listening to, where the guy said, whenever, in, in making any decision, you would want to make the decision that you're going to feel pain in the short term instead of in the long term mm. so that's how you'll know what decision to make you know what i mean because what will happen is that you'll ignore the red flags and you'll keep going you know you'll still feel good but then over time you're gonna waste a lot of time yeah and then you're gonna, it's gonna be painful in the end instead right. of you just had you saw the red flag you acted on it mm-hmm. you cut it off you're gonna feel the pain right then and now yeah and then then you know in the future it'll be it'll turn into something real green yes, you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah, yeah. So, and some, sometimes it's easier said than done too because it's, course, a, it's a lot of different factors that play into of that of course whether it's like business or professional or time. relationship time mm-hmm. sometimes you yeah. just like okay you might just stay with somebody because you put all this work in mm-hmm. sometimes you might even want to be selfish no I built you up or 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 I put all this time into you, like mm-hmm. shit. I'm gonna just ride this out too. Yeah. Or you might share a kid together, and then now you just waste mm-hmm. even more time. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes, right. you know what I'm saying? Me personally, like, like I didn't grow up in a two um, parent mm-hmm. household until later, until right. my until my amazing stepdad came into play. But I always told myself that I want to have my son to have his both his mom and um dad. Of course. Yeah. But eventually, you know, it, it might become detrimental or will become detrimental to yeah. that kid mm-hmm. if he's seeing a toxic relationship or whatever Facts. it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so sometimes good. you just got to not ignore certain red flags after ignoring them for years. Facts, and facts, that's real. on to like something that's going to benefit everybody. It, it, my ex, my son, my mm-hmm. current situation to hold yeah. on. You know what yeah. I'm saying? As opposed yeah. to holding on to it and creating more generational curses. Facts. Mm-hmm. Facts. So, yeah. Because like, you, facts. because like what you just said, because too, like, de- depending on how you grew up, you... You you have this idea in your head. You create this dream in your head on how you want things to be. And sometimes, <clears throat> when when that reality gets interrupted, you still try to hold on to it for so mm-hmm. long because you know that's what you wanted so bad. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. you know it, it may just not be the right situation. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it, it could be. Um. Yeah. It, 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 it's very challenging 
it's very challenging to let go of such a certain situation like that. Because, mm-hmm. you know, like a green flag for me, <laughs> you know, a green flag for me is like um, somebody that I care about. And that, not even, just not even like relationship wise with with female, whatever. This is just like friendship, relationship, whatever. With that, somebody who really care about your who care about your soul, your well being, where it's like they can see you going in a certain direction mm-hmm. and they're gonna tell you, uh, they're gonna tell you, hey, look, man, I, that ain't it. That's not, you know, and I know you don't wanna hear that, but this this ain't it. You gotta move like this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I I I remember you being like this, you know what I'm saying? What's going on? And really gonna have those uh difficult conversations with you. Um so in, in any relationship, when when those things are present and someone who knows how to communicate effectively, uh those things are always green flags for me. And back then, maybe I didn't want to hear it, but over time, uh being around uh being around the right people, yeah. um, a lot a lot of people that were a lot more mature than I am, mm. I started to realize that, you know, communication you know, communication is really the key. Um, and so, um, yeah, man, somebody who just really cares about your well, your well being, the, the real, the, the thing that really is gonna matter in the end. You feel me? Uh, not so much about the um, too much of like the materialistic stuff, the things that's gonna really fade. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That person that's gonna a a a Rick, a a K P A Red. You need to just chill, man. Relax, man. Are <laughs> oh, you gonna yeah. burn yourself out? You gonna kill yourself, man? Mm-hmm. You draining yourself. Or whatever it is, you, you know what I'm saying? Spiritual. I think that you spiritual. said that earlier too. Yeah, it's spiritual. Like when they right. send you stuff to get your vibes up. Yeah, send you stuff yeah. to get your vibes up. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, baby, I, I was other, praying man. for you. And sometimes we might just send each other DMs or share stories, mm-hmm. or whatever it is. Yeah. And be like, yo, you peep this, man. And yeah. It might be something that you might be into. Something that Rick sent me something the other day. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I might be sending y'all something. Yeah. Be like, yo, we don't got to do this, but it's just something to laugh at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So it's just, it's just you, sometimes you really a product of your environment, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm surrounded by some solid dudes and, and yeah. got a solid wife and got a solid team, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't have one of those things, and I got plenty of mm. those things. Right, so, right, right. So just think about that, That's man. Yeah. That's one time for the green flags. One time for the green flags. <laughs> one time for the green flags. flags. But, man, I ain't going to lie, dog. The red flag's crazy, though, dog. The red flag's so crazy, bro. All right, y'all. So you made it to the end of this episode, man. Dope. We got even way more things to give you guys. Be sure to go to fourquarters.podcast and learn more information. Subscribe, like, share this, tag a couple friends, do all that. And then also check out FSC Academy, where we'll be dropping our ebook, our training courses on how to build a brand, teamwork, um, just everything from how to actually even trademark your logos, the whole nine, man. We're giving a lot of free game on there. So sign up, tune in, subscribe, like. See y'all on the next one. Yeah, boys run red lights. Speaking of red. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, dog. <laughs> I never, turn, I, never ran, I never ran, I never, I never ran a red light, dog. But I ain't gonna lie. I, 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 I done stepped into the bloody show. You know what I'm saying? Without, the, <laughs> without knowing, yucky, kid. Yucky. Yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I, I almost had a heart attack, like it's for us. Like what? Well, I'm dead ass serious though. Like if wake up like a crime scene. Yeah, yeah kid. Wait, wait. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't. I ain't the type that I don't like. I don't like that red flag, boy. You feel me? Like I almost lost my life that day. I gave <laughs> like G. <gee. laughs> like kid. So that thing though went. This turn yeah. that boy ran for sentimental. Yeah. And then that thing, <laughs> <laughs> hey man, it's real life conversation. Like, you, you know what time it is, man. You say you ran a red flag. We gonna keep it all the way G. You know what I'm saying? Get the whole 100. Hey, yeah. And lay a towel down. Nah, man. Nigga had to wake up. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it. Ah, well, I'll be telling too much. But yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, I zoom past that red light. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, boy, it just got kind of weird. Nah, it ain't. Cut that commercial break, huh? I ain't gonna lie. This is nah, it ain't, ain't even get, get weird. Nah, it did. It just kind of got on that little. It whoa. just got, yeah, it's like, got yo, what, what it is. Uh, Not nah, even, man. Really, my bad. You know. I know it's somebody out there, what, really, they is, then went up, like, yeah, like, 
See, look, they Go do it too. Yeah, they do it too. They yeah, do it yeah, too. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, hey, look, keep this, keep this. <laughs> Life hacks. All right, hey, 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 what would we be saying, man? Hey, where's that life hack? I'm not about that life, kid. Look, look, look. You trying to plead this case? I'm not about that life, kid. I don't think anybody should. <laughs> no, nah, but look, all right, true story, man. What we doing right now, we on this podcast and we giving y'all the real, man. But at the same time, like what we say next door sometimes when we in the headquarters, we're like, yo, imagine if um, we was a fly on the wall, if there was a fly on the wall, and they heard some of our conversations. Oh, yeah, be wild. So we, yeah. we, we jumping out here and just putting it all out there for yeah, y'all, man. So, yeah. you know, sometimes we'll get a little colorful with the conversation, but. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> colorful, huh? What color red, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you switch about the gray, you know what I'm saying? Real quick. <laughs> yeah, we going to go to positive, crazy, you know what I'm saying? Hey, two, three days after the fact, you already know what I'm saying. Like, man, we, we running green lights all day, you feel oh, me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that baby was over there looking like, what? Yeah. <laughs> baby, what? boys, huh? It's all about the green Not at even. the end of the day. It's about the green. For real, for real. Yeah. Man. So how we sum this up, man? We talking about red flags and everything in between. What y'all, y'all find the words on this one, man? Go down the line if you want. Shit, my final is, man, focus on the green. Yeah. Um, pay attention to the reds. But, man, if you focus on the positive, you get positive. So, What's you know yeah. what I'm saying? Perfect way to say it, too. Damn. Yeah, like like Rick just said, <laughs> focus on the green. Uh, the reds will be there. That's a part of the journey. Yeah. So, those are things that you take from it. And you... Um, if you see if it's something that you can't live with, then you make the decision early and deal with the grief in the beginning mm. instead of holding on to it and um, suffering with it for you for a long period of time. You know what I'm saying? So it's all a part of life. Keep going. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just to um, kind of add on to what both them boys are saying, definitely focus on the green for sure. Mm-hmm. And um, when you do see the red flags as they are a part of life, you just got to act accordingly, you know what I'm saying, and go through that short-term suffering so you can have long-term pleasure, I guess, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think y'all said it, said it all, man, but if I could say anything and just sum it up, it's just basically uh, give yourself some grace, man, like for real. Like, okay, sometimes we're not, we're not perfect. Nobody's perfect. So if you do encounter a red flag, learn from it. Um, try not to repeat it. And if you do repeat it, just learn from that again, man. And that's what life is. Life is about experiences. So chase some green flags, stay away from them red flags, and focus and stay on point. Four quarters until the next one, baby. Yep. Four quarters. Yep.